But guys, it's time for Eureka, so let's get into it. We're good, we didn't get an encounter at, at uh, yeah. These encounters are very dangerous. In fact, encounters in Circle Star are worse than Eureka. But I guess that's to be expected. I just wanted to make it through this passage unmolested. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep the Viking at critical. Let's build this place. Should be getting uh, quite a lot of battle items here. All of this uh, is going to be useful for Amon, first boss. Oh, these guys are only physical attackers? Oh, they can use fire. No problem, though. I just wish that Dragoon could one-shot them. Because the Geomancer is uh, not that reliable. Okay, this is gonna be. <clears throat> Monster in a box upcoming. And I'm very interested to see. <coughs> very interested to see how much damage the ninja will do. If we have enough defense to even tank that guy. One thing that I can possibly do is equip a shield which protects against poison. The heroic shield. But that reduces my defense. Not that much, but a significant amount. Heroic shield, crystal shield, uh, plus 10 defense with the diamond mail, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, maxing out defense here. Can go with the crystal gloves as well. Don't really need elemental protection from the protect ring. So I'm really hoping that uh, the draw attacks is going to work because otherwise uh, Ninja can pretty much one shot everybody. <clears throat> yeah, one damage, fantastic. So, so we can cheese ninja encounters. Presumably that goes for uh, Kage as well.
Man, look at how much defense he's got. Germans are actually doing more damage than uh, the Dragoon over here. Doesn't bode well for uh, future encounters. Easy! And we got ourselves a ribbon. I'll give that to the Scholar. I need, need lots of man magic defense on him. Scholar and... Uh, Viking can take care of himself, as can uh, the Dragoon. Of the other two, I think the, the Scholar is uh, going to be the more important one. Especially for uh, boss fights. Geomatos is uh, suddenly doing almost uh, a thousand damage on average now. What if we hit some kind of multiplier? You look at that damage from Earthquake. Why is draw attacks the same? More battle items, thank you very much. Amon is gonna be a piece of cake. Sadly, the legendary weapon that he protects is worthless to me. Got the formula for the random encounters uh, done pretty easy thanks to the Viking. I don't know if he got a level or what, but the Dragoon is not one shotting these guys. Yeah, look at that! Holy shit! He was struggling to get through 2000 damage. Now he's almost doing 3000. Uh oh. Not that I'm afraid of these guys. Especially when uh, draw attacks is working so reliably. Okay, should be able to do this pretty easily. So Amon is just like a uh, hind. Uh, 
I should be able to get plenty of damage just from uh, the Dragoon's Jump and the Geomancer's Terrain, regardless of what weakness he's got. Whoa! Oh, I forgot to change him into a magic setup. It's fine, it's fine. So we're gonna have to wait a couple turns until the hind changes his weakness. And thanks to the scholar, we should be able to make this pretty quick. H shield, crystal shield. Uh, for, for magic defense, I'll just go with double H shields. It's got slightly more magic, doesn't it? Sadly, can't change equipment. Uh, 213. Let's, let's see how much damage it takes. Keep on jumping. Uh, depending on turn order, we might be able to study him right after his barrier shift. Ah, uh, bad luck. So, formula here is every three turns he will barrier shift. Let's take the first turn to probe for weaknesses. Dragoon obviously doesn't care. Fire, alright. gonna have one turn here of fire damage let's make the most of it where's the bomb arm I got two bomb arms how much damage is this <laughs> almost quad nine that's what I'm talking about I'm gonna barrier shift, so I don't want to risk this. There we go. Good thing I didn't throw the second bomb arm. And now we'll have two full turns of knowing what his weakness is. Nice! Should have plenty of Arctic Winds. He might just die here. Yeah, the sure amount of damage from that Scholar. He's best at taking advantage of elemental vulnerabilities, but even otherwise... Just uh, uh, throwing items regularly, he can, he can out damage pretty much uh, everyone. It's just that uh, because of the low drop rates, we've got, we've, ha I've, I've just had to rely on battle items found in our treasure chests. Once again, this is a reason uh, why the uh, scholar is best paired with a thief. That way you can pretty much uh, get items every fight. In fact, you can steal an item and then throw it in that same fight. Of course, in the NES version, I think you could just steal as many times as you want as you wanted from the same uh, encounter. I should have crystal gloves on this guy. Nah, let's give him the protect ring. And the reflect mail, considering that uh, draw attacks is working so well. So all I'm gonna need to do is change uh, the viking setup every time uh, we have to take on a boss. Don't want too much overhead.
Alright, what's this gonna be? I think this is the Kunoichi. She's gonna spam a Roga. Uh, no weaknesses. Uh, how, how do we approach this? Might not be a bad idea to use uh, Shining Curtains. We just reflect her. Uh, yeah, I got five of them. We reflect her Aeroga on us, herself. I'm very interested to see how much uh, an Aeroga would do on uh, Viking. <laughs> Perfect. Is it all the damage? Not getting great damage from the Dragoon's jump. But I guess she must have a lot of physical defense. Not a lot of magic defense. Because uh, the Geomancer is obviously doing over a thousand damage. Similar to the ninja actually. <laughs> oh man, this strategy is working out really well for me. But if she didn't have a lot of magic defense, she would be taking a lot more damage from a Roga, shouldn't she? I don't get it. I know draw attacks isn't really working. Ah, look at that! 1400 damage! No use using uh, a high potion since the amount of damage she's doing is more than our uh, max HP. All we can just use is the shining cutlass. That's really helping me out. Out of shining cut. Alright, I'm just I'm just happy I put them to good use. Uh, in which case Arctic Wind. Uh, do I have any other use for it? I don't think so. Let's just use all of these battle items. Nineteen hundred damage. Okay, Geomancer on this is out. Don't really care too much about him. So there's a Masamune, another legendary weapon I cannot use. In fact, uh, I don't think any of the legendary weapons are uh, useful for me. Screw this. He's got he's got enough defense. I'll just switch the shields around. Grab a turn with this floor. Hmm. 
Next boss will be the Dark General, I believe. And that guy's gonna spam uh, stuff like Bio, Death. Does he have any multi target? I don't think so. That's Excalibur, of course. Ninety-two magic defense. Nobody else is even close. Yeah, I'll just heal him up to three hundred. I'm very interested to see how much uh, damage he's gonna take. If he will be targeted. What is the limit of uh, magic defense here? Earth drums, let's find out how much damage we can do. We can uh, extract from the scholar. I don't think I'll be in a position to use any items in uh, the Cloud Darkness fight. Okay, physical attack, one damage. So far, so good. So let me just... I'm gonna save up the really good items for Zandi. Everything else... Oh, bomb bomb. Go ahead with that. All the elemental stuff I'll just uh, use on these bosses. 700 damage from a drain. Wrath. How is the Geomancer doing this much damage in both random encounters and bosses? He must have a completely special, separate formula for his damage calculations. I'm out of battle items. Do I have a little guess? Might as well. Why should he love the Geomancer? Never mind. My trade is better. Thank God he didn't use it on uh, biking. Alright, Germans back up. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. No physical attacks. Actually, I probably uh, got away pretty easy on that one. Got nothing for the scholar to do. Arrow managed to survive this fight. That's just dumb block. 
thought he would spam bio. Decided not to. Yeah, everybody's pretty healthy. So we're at level 41 now. wrong with my sound. Sorry about that. Since we don't have a good way of uh, beating this guy, let's just hope he doesn't spam earthquake. Or maybe it's not this one. It's the it's the guy from the dark world who uses earthquake. All the damage. Fantastic. I'm liking where this is going. Let me heal up first. Actually, I don't want to heal up. So, sure again. Wish I could use them, you know. Pretty much got all the treasures. Let's take on no, this one first. Uh, Queen Scylla, I believe. Usually, I would avoid using magic against her, but uh, we don't have any reflectable stuff. Oh, opens up with Holy. Damn! Got my damage jailer right off the bat. Should be proactively healing with uh, the scholar, but more often than not, that just goes to the wrong target. So why bother? He's gonna die. Thankfully not. Why don't you hit the damn, uh... It's fine if uh, she's got a weakness. Not that I can take advantage of it. Why, why don't these guys hit, uh... The Viking? No weakness, right? Yeah. Most of the bosses is like that, right? I don't know why she's just using physical attacks. It's just uh, giving me an easy time here. But yeah, I can see she's got plenty of magic defense. Geomans are, are not even crossing a thousand damage. 
Actually, that's as much damage as he does normally, isn't it? With an earthquake. So once again, not really seeing any difference here. 700 damage, okay. So despite uh, his raised magic defense, he still took 700. Mind you, Flare can do over 2000 damage. So that's still quite a damage reduction. So that's 1600. Oh boy. But if she's just gonna be targeting one person at a time, nothing to worry about. Shit. That was bad. Now I gotta focus on reviving people. Don't one shot him. Okay, good. Is it worth healing up? Kind of is. We can always get lucky with the rolls. Oh, that was bad. But nothing I can do about that. But I still hope she doesn't use Kuraja too often. Yeah. Wow! Wiped out that Kyoraja in one jump. See, that's the benefit of healing up. We got a low roll of flare there, so Geomancer didn't die. The remaining boss might prove to be a bit of a challenge. Because that one has multi target uh, attacks. You know, there's something I've never checked. But can the scholar use any weapon except books? Yep. HP MP restored. Actually, good thing I did that first. I want to keep the Viking at critical. Not at 1 HP though. Uh, he's got 2200 HP. Uh, I still don't feel like we can keep him at 500. How about 350? 350 is probably the limit. Using a Phoenix Sun brings him back at about uh, one tenth. This guy's still got the Gaia vest. Man, I just hate the lack of any armor upgrades for those two jobs. Let's take him on. This guy is... I forgot his name. Oh, Glacial level... No, no, no. Guardian. Okay. wonder if he has any weaknesses. Probably not.
Okay, attack does one damage. Uh, what's what about his quake? That's what I'm most worried about. If 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 uh, the Viking shrugs off his quake, that means we are well and truly safe. One damage! Oh my god, fantastic! So I guess magic defense is enough to not worry about this fight at all. I don't think he has any other attacks. You better heal yourself up. Actually, yeah, I should uh, employ this guy. Yeah, I don't care about reflect. I'm not using any reflectable magic. Oh shit, two quakes in su succession. Scholar just about managed to survive. Man, my mages have shit magic defense. Alright, I got a free top there. So far, it's going pretty well. That quake really does hurt. Oh, nice! Internal relies. I'm just so focused on healing. And we got the useless Ragnarok for it. So that brings Eureka to a close. My party here didn't really have much to do with Eureka, but uh, well, got a bunch of levels. That does matter. Shit, I can't heal myself, can I? Eh, hey, what the hell. Let's get out of hell. So as usual, I will make my way back to my ship, stock up, and next time... Final dungeon. Later guys.